name is Ariel Krasner. It is July 9th, 2014. I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York. Well, when 9-11 occurred, I was actually uh, in high school. I was in 11th grade. And the morning that it occurred, I was actually sitting in chemistry class. And it was right during my first period, which is chemistry, and I hated chemistry. And I just remember that the aide had come in and said, Ariel, I need to speak to you outside. And I'm thinking, I'm in a whole lot of trouble. I don't know what I did, but I'm in trouble if they're coming in. And she pulled me out of class and wanted to tell me that my parents had called and, told, and wanted them to tell me that they were okay and they made it to safety. And this is before we knew anything was going on. And I thought they'd been in a horrible accident and told the aide told me that so far as they knew that New York City was being bombed and that they're about to evacuate us. Um, I couldn't see anything that was going on. I was inside school. No one had a clue. And I went back inside a class, and I remember sitting there uh, completely shocked and not knowing what to do, just kind of sitting there stock still with my mouth hanging open until they made the announcement that as far as I knew, we were being bombed and that right now they're evacuating us to the library, which was downstairs, before telling us what was going to happen next. And I just remember sitting in that library for a few hours. They had the TV screen on, one of those like really old school TVs. I just, for some reason, I always remember that sitting there watching this old school TV, and then hearing planes flying overhead, like really, really close. And this is when we knew that it was no longer a fly zone. And I remember the whole school freaked out. We all started jumping under tables and hiding. And I remember sitting under that table for 20, 30 minutes, just waiting to hear news. And um, finally, we were let out, and we all went outside, and you could see the smoke coming out. And they told us that we all had to leave school now and head home as much as you could if you can make it home. And I'd gone home, I was close to school, and I sat there for eight hours while my parents walked home. My parents worked on Fifth Avenue right across the street from the Empire State Building. And so my parents had a really wonderful bird's eye view of everything that happened. And to this day, my mom still has nightmares about watching people fall out of buildings. She saw it, and it scares her constantly. And she's always worrying about it. Um, and unfortunately, it's become a thing in my parents' lives now where they're scared of a lot of things occurring because of 9-11. But for me, 9-11 was the reason why um, I became an AmeriCorps member and started volunteering because I felt so helpless. I actually ended up going to the armory two weeks after it happened, and the armory was in Brooklyn, and that was where everyone was putting up missing posters. So there were missing posters everywhere. They had the candles up and flowers everywhere, and there's a whole street of it. And I remember I went there thinking, I can help. I can do something. And I went there, and I've never felt so entirely helpless in my entire life. I just remember one woman um, was standing there bawling her eyes out, and I handed her a tissue, and she just turned and hugged me, and, and stood there hugging me for like 10 minutes, like a stranger. And I just stood there, and that was the best that I could do. That was the only thing that I was capable of doing at that time. And in 11th grade, you can't really do much. I wanted to go down and help, and I couldn't. And so I promised myself that as soon as I was old enough that I would support anybody who needed the help. And when Katrina happened when I was in college, the first thing I did was I went down and helped.